welcome back to the Rokaja Kimball channel. I'm yours for today, Car Keller, whatever you want to call me. And today we're reacting to Blackpink's newest song, Pink Venom. <clears throat> now, you know what some of you might say? Come on, man. This song came out like three weeks ago. Well, if you didn't, if you aren't, if you haven't watched the channel, if you haven't watched our last video, which is our retro reaction, which is a uh, fire truck by NCT 127, their debut. Uh, one, go and watch that. Link in the description below. Tell me what you think. Um, but in that video, I, I explained I was overseas. I was I, I wasn't in the setup. I wasn't able to make videos. I didn't have my gear with me, um, so it was hard to make the reaction and uh, put it out to you guys. But I'm here now. I'm here today. I'm trying to play a little bit of catch up. You know, so definitely in the future. In um, in my sights is definitely you know twice uh, and like oh, just a bunch of songs that have come out that I've missed. So, you know, I'm trying to play catch up, but when I play catch up, I try and stay up after that. So, um, but yeah, let's talk about Blackpink for a little bit. Now, Blackpink, definitely one of the most world widely known groups, not even just K pop groups, but groups um, currently. And uh, obviously, I've heard a little bit of snippets of, these, of the song because, you know, when you just go with your like Instagram, um, YouTube shorts. Sometimes, um, and even TikTok, you know, you, you hear that, like, you see people dancing to it. So I know the, the slightly, the bits of the chorus, um, and I know that apparently there's, like, some, like, quote-unquote, uh, reused lyrics in the song. So I'm definitely interested to see what the song has to bring me. Um, I'm intrigued by what, you know, what the song's about. Um... I know the song is a part of a stage or like a concert sort of thing um, that they're doing later in the year. Um, so I'm interested to see that. And I think there's another song coming out in a few weeks, maybe. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, I'm pretty interested to see that. You know, I think no matter what, I'm not a huge fan of Blackpink, but I think no matter what, you have to give them the respect and you have to, you know, appreciate what they bring to the table. So without further ado, I'm just going to get straight into the reaction. So we're going to get into it. Let's go. Over 95% of you guys that are watching this video right now aren't subscribed to this channel. That's crazy to me. If you guys could do me a big favor, hit that red subscribe button. Make it great, which I need a thousand subs by the end of the year. I win that little bit of stretch. So if you guys can help us out with that, it'd be very much appreciated. And also, like the video. It's free. And back to the video. Starting off pretty hard. Ah, there it is. Still goes hard. There's another one. Damn. Actually, it is. I thought that, I thought that was cap. Still goes. It does. It some goes hard regardless. So far, they all they all killing it with the outfits. They all look good. Oh, I should dance on. And this is new territory for me. You know what? Chorus is actually pretty catchy. Even this part's good. I like this. I actually like this. Ah, they slow dance. That was, that was smart. I don't know what, it's not bad. You know, and I was just about to, I was about to make a comment about how like Jisoo's look is always the same. And then she comes out with that. Wow. I like the outfits. I like, no, no lie, the outfits actually working. 
I'm working with Mike. Ooh, I like this duality. Rosé on the red, Jisoo on the blue. Context is wearing with the hair. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay. That took us kinda hard. Really kinda hard. That was it. Oh well. Do you know what? I gotta give it its respect. I gotta give it its respect. I'll be honest, I actually, I heard a lot of people's opinions about it. I heard, and it's a mixed, mixed, mixed bag of opinions. I heard plenty of, oh, the song's like 10 out of 10, amazing. Um, the song's a one out of 10, trash. The song's of the main, most five out of 10 thing I've ever seen. It was such a mixed bag of reactions. Like people thought the song was good, bad, ugly, trash. You know, it, it, every, every word to describe it. But genuinely, um, after listening to it and formulating, trying to formulate my own early opinion of the song, I didn't think it was that bad. So, like, I think it was definitely, it wasn't a mid song, it wasn't bad. So, all of those people that said that, I like, I honestly, unless it's not your taste, and that's completely fine, but most of you are talking out of your ass, like, genuinely. Like, come on now. That's like, come on. That, that song was actually good. It had catchy moments, it had, it had good moments. Like, regardless, the chorus. Even though it's like very, very repetitive, like it's just them just saying this, that, pink, venom, this, like that, that will get stuck in my head. And that's what you want in a song. You want it to like, you know, you want it to stick with you. So I think the chorus is going to stick with you, it's like semi, like even if it's just you humming it, like when you're crossing the street or when you're walking down the road or like when you're doing anything, you're, you're just like, that might come into your head because it, it, it could definitely, it, I'll definitely get caught doing it um, for sure, 100%. Um, that second verse, the best part of the song, hands down. The the way the beat changes in that in that uh, a lot of period of the song uh, really really captivated me. It really really like intrigued me. And they did the rapping. They went hard. In it. Like they went hard as like they they killed it straight up. I would say after that is the bridge. Um, not only was the vocals really good. Even though me personally, I'll get into it a little bit later, but I'm not the biggest fan of Rose's voice. Um, however, that part really, really, really did well. I think it really caught both sides of the coin. Um, obviously, not only visually with um, with Rose being red, like the red background, red aesthetic, and then GC being blue and the blue aesthetic, like really having that duality and that change. Um, I wasn't quite. Uh, keened in on the lyrics so possibly the lyrics even were um suggesting the duality in the the mixed bag of of um the bridge but i just thought it was really good and um i obviously i did catch a few of the reused lyrics i think rihanna was one of them 50 cent was one of them and i think i may have even heard of somebody else it's like an old rapper one but like you know but regardless that doesn't really matter i, I think at the end of the day a lot of people like I've definitely been a vic um, person that said, not a victim, but a person that said, um, oh, that's 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 bad. They, they should think of their own lyrics. But I mean, you know, if it fits the song and you know, if it's really what they're going for in the song, I think, you know, I think it can be okay. Majority of the time, I'd prefer you think of your own lyrics. That's just me. Um, and yeah, I just think I think you know, Blackpink. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Okay, this is definitely going to be a hot take. But I think Blackpink, when it comes to marketability um present like being presentable and being popular they have it in spades they're amazing at it musically wise i've never been um an overzealous person about it i've never been very upfront and saying yeah i like blackpink i'm a boy um that's because i think sometimes they it's sort of repetitive in what they're bringing out like what they bring out can be good and what a thing but i felt like uh, this song similar-ish How you like that and kill this love all the sort of all sort of had that same aesthetic to it and all that sort of same feel 
Um, those are probably their better songs though. I actually did enjoy the song. If I was to give it a rating quickly, I'd say seven out of 10. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't horse trash. Um, it was pretty good. I actually enjoyed it. But yeah, like I think, and like I said a little bit earlier, uh, I find Rose's voice to be slightly annoying. Um, and I feel like Jisoo just sort of, not only by the fans, but even by the label, by YG, has just sort of been pushed to the side. Like, she doesn't really get much into time and, uh, you know, lyric, or like, um, time on the song. Um, but I think she does bring what she brings to the table, and I think she does well. And then the two, uh, Lisa and Jenny, they, they kill her most of the time. They're probably the most outstanding members when it comes to um, looking at them individually, me and me, my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, overall, I think the song was good. I actually really, really enjoyed it. I, I definitely, um, I, 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 I'd be, I'd be like, if I said I wouldn't listen to it again and like actually, you know, enjoy listening to it like just outside of reacting to it. So. Um, you know, that, that's just just my opinion though. I'd love to hear what you guys think of the comments below. Uh, you know, so let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the song. Am I gassing it too hard? Is it really bad? Am I just like, is my taste whack? Tell me in the comments below. I'll be down there. I'll be listening to you, um, what you guys have to say. Also like this video if you guys enjoyed uh, reacting to the song with me and listening to the song. And if you guys like the song, so like the video if you guys have all of that, if you check one of those boxes. Uh, also subscribe like I said in the beginning of the video we're trying to hit 1,000 subs by the end of this year if you guys could help us out with that it'd be very very much appreciated I'll see you guys next time if you guys have a wonderful rest of your day I'll see you guys later peace